be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. Uh, today's video, basically, we're going to be flipping a trap sample in Logic Pro 10. So go ahead and buckle your seatbelts because we got a bang, okay? Now, uh, first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and we'll start off with an audio track, okay? And the reason why, I'm actually going to drag and drop the sample here first before we put it into the quick sampler. Now, to demonstrate how to flip these trap samples or tr flip a trap sample in Logic Pro 10, we're going to be using uh, one of our cloudy loops. Um, I have a uh, loop pack that I've created. It's royalty free. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like right here. All right. Um, has 22 different melodies that you can use royalty free. All right. And so I'm just going to show you some tips on what you could do to, um, you know, flip this into like a beat. So we'll go ahead and check out some of these samples. Let's see. So I kind of like this one. What I'm gonna do now is just drag it over here, um, just like that. We'll keep the track format. And if you want, you can import the uh, tempo. It's not gonna necessarily be, you know, necessary because you always change it. But uh, let's go over some tips, some things that you could do to flip this. Now, one of the first things you could do is literally just come in the middle of the sample, chop it up, and that's all, all, that's gonna easily make this sound different. Let's see. So that's one thing you could do. Um, if, if it doesn't, it, like if this particular sample that you're using like this one doesn't sound different enough, you can always, you know, split it into fours or even the eights, okay? And all I'm doing is just highlighting and pushing Command T. And you can just move these around and come up with some type, some type of other melody or whatever. Just randomly put these here uh, to create something else. So that's one technique that is pretty dope to uh, come up with like a new sample from something that you're sampling. Let's check that out. Also just grab certain parts so say uh if we like this these right here come in and then also you could push uh t and it's gonna bring up your tools and do the fade tool and just come in on each one of these and what that's gonna do is just help you not to like have like little pops or whatever as the sample's going so push t again go like this Sometimes you have to make sure that you like slope the um, fades. So that's one way you could do it, just chopping it up like that. Another thing you could do to flip your samples is just take this. We'll just join this together by pushing Command J, and then we can actually take this and put it into the quick sampler. Um, what you could do once you get into the quick sampler is we could actually come over here and slice this. So um, if I push musical typing, you'll see that we have our keyboard up and it coordinates to what we got going over here. So say we'll lay something down like that. So obviously I played the, some of the notes wrong. It's all good. We can always come over here and quantize this and we'll put it up one over eight swing or we could do it. We could do the one over 16. 
Nah, we might have to do the one over eight. There we go. But then, anyway, that's that's a way that you can come up with a brand new uh, sample here. Obviously, if you throw a, a beat behind it, it turns into a dope beat. So um, we can also like highlight everything, push Command A, and then highlight um, right click on it to do force legato and that can make everything smoother so that's another way you can flip the sample here another thing we could do we could create another uh, software instrument track here and instead of like chopping the notes up like that um, okay, I didn't want to do that let me undo this part Okay, I don't know why I created a, a different instrument. My bad, y'all. So we'll just do this. For some reason, I accidentally created a software instrument. Um, so now, like, if you put it back into the quick sampler, though, you can actually go from slice to classic. And now we can just grab one part of this. Say, like, right there. Let me say we grab it all the way right here, right? So I can lay that down. Um, I can push follow tempo, and it will it will pretty much follow the actual tempo, which is uh, ninety. But say if you want to slow it down, we can come over here to that speed option. So let's lay something down like that. So that's one thing we could do. Obviously, we come in here, quantize this. And if we want, you can um, push shift option and push the up arrow and I can take it up an octave. See what it sounds like. All right, cool. So we have that option. Um, another thing you can do is, and I'm just showing you different ways you can flip, uh, you know, flip your trap samples. Um, another thing you can do is come over here, drag it into this gray area to, to, you know, put it into the quick sampler. And pretty simple. You can come over here, put that follow tempo on here, and just reverse it. There's always, there's always a, a lot of dope stuff that can come out out of reversing something. Let's check it out. You can speed it up too. Super slow it down. But for the most part, that's something that you can do is reverse it. Um, you can play at different octaves. So let's lay it down real quick. So you kind of get uh, a basic idea or understanding of certain things you could do. This is especially for people who are beginners um, when it comes to flipping samples. Let's go over um, a few more things here. I'm gonna do an audio track. And what you could also do, instead of dragging it into the quick sampler initially, you can come over here and just take, I didn't mean to do that, I'm gonna hold down option push this mute right here but I can come over here and just grab one little part like maybe right here um, do this you know what I'm saying this is different things you can do and then I can come over here click on here this is a this is our flex tool and then click the flex tool there and I could take this and drag this out like so and now I have a whole new sample And so now I can take this and drag it into the quick sampler again. And we have a whole nother pattern here 
um, that we can now play at different keys or whatever. I actually like that. So we got that going. There's a couple different things here. Um, and the last thing I'm going to talk about is this actually just adding like effects to your samples, which is pretty self-explanatory, but you can come over here and add different effects to this. Um, even stock effects, you can add certain things and change the way it sounds. So like this uh, phaser, uh, let me just see how that sounds. And so let's just kind of do an A, B here. This is the original sample. And then these are the different variations that we came up with. one with an effect on it this is one where we stretched it then we also have this other one I like I really like the reversed probably the best then there's have this other one where we just chopped it up a little bit And then of course, remind you, um, we took this and we sliced this sample up and we had this. So this is just a couple of different ways. Um, if we were just to put this in some simple step-by-step -step A to B type deals, reversing the sample, all right? Adding an effect to the sample, chopping the sample up, okay and stretching the sample you know so those different um so those are some different things you could do to flip trap samples in logic pro 10. now um this is just a basic begin a beginner's level video just to get you started um with your sample flipping or chopping it up especially for like trap beats you know sometimes it can be hard but trust me man just by stretching stuff reversing it um adding effects different things like that chopping it up you're going to be able to come with endless new uh, arrangements and endless new, um, you know, cookups from samples. Now, uh, do want to preface that you can go to my site, beatmakingbasis.com and grab this cloudy trap loops kit. Cool thing about this is not a whole lot of producers have these sounds. Why? They're original. I actually created them. And so, um, the world hasn't got to it yet. So the, for you, you could get to get these and for sure, there would be something, you know, that you can cook up with this and you're not going to have a whole lot of producers just yet um, cooking up with the same sample. So grab these packs now before everything blows up and, you know, it starts becoming something like a, a splice where, uh, you know, splice.com where, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of producers all using the same samples and you have to really get in there and fine tune stuff to make it sound different or whatever. But anyway, grab, grab the uh, kit, man. BeatMakingBasis.com. Link will be in the description below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We also have courses. We also have one-on-one -on -one services. Um, you know, anything that you need, just let me know. Um, I also do respond to my comments the best I can and also to my emails. So appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video.